uh, invincible problems in front of us. Right, so here we go. Let's get into the game. Uh, we'll go to continue and we will continue the game. You know, the thing I'm probably most happy about is that the green screens work. There we are, in the bed. In the bed and there's a door that's open behind me but I've got to switch all these off. Whoops. Off. Off all of them. That one back there. Ah! There, we got them all off, right? They're all off. Um, oh, sounds amazing. All oh, right, so 1030JH, you've not seen this game before. This is great. This is going to blow your mind, 1030JH. All right, so it looks pretty mundane, a bit Stanley Parable. Um, and then you get here, Dream Soda. You're in a dream. And now we've got to solve the puzzle. So remember, this is the second time I'm playing uh, this game, so I'm carried on from where I left off. Oh, there we go. Let's put that door down. It's a tiny door now. Can we make it look? Can we make it massive? Watch this. Oh no, it's tiny still. Now it's a bigger door, right? So there, there's an example of how it works. Whoops, where am I going? Oh no, I came from there, didn't I? Yeah, so we're going this way. Here we go. Uh, Marta saying, this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. Oh, right, great. Well, you're going to enjoy it. I'll just show you. Uh, you'll see as we get in things. So there you go. There is a thing. If you stand on that, that door opens, right? Have, so we need to put something down on it. So, no, I can't. That's been welded to the ground. That's been welded to the ground. Things have been welded to the ground. So I need to pick something up. Oh, you know what? I think I need to go get that door. There we go. So we'll go back here. We'll pick up this door. So you can see that that door, if you drop it there, that door is wider than that, that, that door space, right? Now, if I pick it up, but I managed to get it through. And if you do this, then it's tiny, right? So um, the whole game is like this, it's mad. And you come through here, right? And you place it on here and blonk, there we open the door and straight through here oh that clock says um zero one oh some music okay we'll leave it on that music dun, dun, dun. Ooh, left and right left and right well obviously that looks so that door you can interact with already you can tell but over here oh there's also a door over here huh What the hell's happening? Every time you try to pick this door, it makes a smaller one. This is mad. Look at this. This is crazy. How many can I make until the game crashes? That's mad, look at this. Brrr. Why do you like this? Clone an object way too many times. So I've got an achievement. Oh, and it's not letting me do it anymore, right? So I've, look at that, look at that. Brrr. Okay, let's get out of here and go this way. Ding, 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 ding. All right, it's done it again. Oh my God, this game is mad. I think I've got to break the game, to be honest. Just gonna keep on doing this. Hold on, maybe I can pull this. No, I can't. This is insane. Like, I'm stuck now. I think I'm gonna have to do this until the game goes, don't do it anymore. This is probably not the best example to show you guys the first time you're watching Super Limo. Oh yeah, it's hit its limit. Okay, well I can't get out. I can't get out of this door. Is there another way out? All right. Okay, guys. First problem. 
Oh, private, it says there. Is that... Oh, there we go. What? Don't make me do this as well. Oh my god, this game is mad. Need a turbo button. You're right, Joe. Hey, it's Jay Dark 64 That's who I think it is, right? That's you, Joe. Um... From... From EB. Is that you? That must be you, J Dark 64 You've had that moniker since 1999. <laughs> this game is adventure, Marta's saying. You're damn right. It's... Look at this. What's... I'm just going to give a clue to you. Come on! I just... I want to play the game. Okay, that's done. I've spent that. Now maybe the other one will... Oh, oh, check this out. Exhausted that. Oh. That's been exhausted. Maybe I can get this. Oh my god, what is this game doing to me? <laughs> oh, it is you, Joe. Nice to see you here, buddy. Nice to see you here. Why is it doing this to me? Th this is not gameplay, guys. This is just... Uh, I think somebody got bored <laughs> at Pillow Castle Games. Come on. I promise you guys that there is game. There is game. There is a game here. There isn't just interactive bits. There's actually a game. I promise you that. Right? So we knock that. Okay, now that's been exhausted. Right, there must be something here that I can touch and grab and manipulate. Again? No. Maybe it's a plug, maybe it's that. Is it stuff up here? It's that. Wow, oh, hold on, maybe, there we go. Ha ha, is that amazing? You clone it until you can get up here. Isn't that mad? Isn't that totally mad? That's what I love about this game. That's what absolutely you cloned it and the whole time it was giving you a way to, uh, to, to get out. But maybe I could have done that on the other side as well. Or it probably takes you to the same place, maybe. We'll find out. And here we are, and here's the door. Oh, look at that. It looks like, it looks like it's outside, right? It looks like it's outside and then you walk up to it and you're like, all oh, right, it's just that. That's what I love about this game. Just messes with your head. Attention. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh. What? Press left shoulder to return. Oh. Why is it cloning? Oh my god, it's making me do this again. It's making me do this again, guys. What is this? Right. There'll be some achievement unlocked for this nonsense. I'm so sorry, guys. I must apologize. The first time I played this game, it was full of great examples of gameplay. And now it's doing really tedious things and making me do this. You got if you if you've not played this game, guys, it's like 11 quid or something on Epic on Epic on the Epic store. You can get it on the Epic store. Uh, it will be available on Steam very soon, uh, but you can get it right now on Epic. Uh, five pounds says that alarm beeping is going to get annoying fast. It already has, mate. It already has. Right. But what am I meant to... Oh, you know what? So, guys, in order to get up there, let me show you something, right? So, there's that. And what you do... See how big it's become. That's what's going to happen now. Oops, not so big. I need to make it bigger. Hold on. In order to make it bigger, I need to be really up close. And then do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, too big. That's mad, isn't it, guys? That is proper mad. Right? So, 
Oh no, alright, so what we'll do... That might be good enough. Hold on. I need another big one. Oh man, I've made a mess. Hold on. What I'm going to do... I can return... Oh, boom! I returned it. Returned it all the way back. So here we go. The problem... We, we solved the problem by going right up to it. Right. And then going... Like that. Oh, I think we can just do it like... Like that and like that and then taking that and putting that there putting that there so this might work and there we go guys that's how you solve that problem boom i hope you enjoy oh, hold on oh, oh no no they all disappeared oh man that's bang out of order that is bang out of order and i was gonna get that thing up there i was gonna there we go hold on Oh, I'm so sorry. Guys, I'm so sorry. You deserve better. You deserve better. You've been patient, right? You deserve better. But the OCD in me has got to make sure that I get all of these things. I'm really sorry. I hope they award me. Haha, <laughs> what is happening? Marta saying, we believe in you. Thank you, Marta. Thank you, but what have I done to myself? What have I done? All the clocks returned. I'm going to complete... Right, just allow me to deal with this OCD. I'm just hoping, you know, maybe I should get a share in the game if I get all of these. Oh, somebody has JDuck610 has followed. Oh, thank you. Thank you for following, Joe. Thank you very much, pal. There we go. And I'm going to get that. Uh, I should be able to get that. No, I can't get that right now. So let's do this again, guys. So this is the way it works, right? There, The exit is up there. Here is a clock. You grab the clock. You then look at it over here and you go, boom, and now it's massive. So, uh, and now you can clone the same big clock, put it there, uh, and let's do that again. Right, and let's clone it again and bring it like down here um, and bring that one up there and then one down there. All right, and then now I'll be able to jump up it. Here we go. Boom, boom. Can I do that? Right, I've done that, and boom, and boom, and I'm through. Uh, oh, and they're all gone. They've all gone. How cheeky is that, guys? How cheeky is that? These games designers can sometimes be really evil. Right, here we go. Now we are in a room. Oh, check this out. Perception is reality. Your friendly uh, doctor, P.S., will get through this. March 1991, when I was 11 years old. March 1991. Good times, huh? Oh, is there anything there that I missed? Did I, oh, there we go. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. 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 It's happened again. It's ha This is important. For those of you who are gamers, you understand how important this is, right? We need to interact with all the things that can be interacted with in order to make sure that by completing them, we are preparing for something that eventually will happen that is really good, right? You believe that. You understand it. You're very clever people. All right. And... I should have put a number on this. You know what? I think this game might cause a spate of people pulling, pulling the fire alarm at work or at school. That could happen. Finally, it's done. Right. What's that? There is a... Oh, a water. So over here, there's a painting... There's a painting, and we go through this door, and here we are in a room with a big yellow apple, or a green apple, however you want to look at it. Uh, there is a door here. Oh, right, it's on the thing. So if you take that, oh, oh. Right, so now the game is teaching me a new mechanic, that I can clone an object and then return it back to its original place by pressing uh, the left shoulder button. So, right, hold on. If we put that there... We put that, yeah, sh maybe I need to make loads of them. I need to get it off that. I need to, you know what, in order for me to get it off that button, I need to, no, oh no, no, just, hold on. How, 
How am I going to get it off that button if I, every time I touch it, I clone it? How is that going to happen? Uh, who's this? Faz, Faz D is here. Hey, Faz D. Oh, yeah, you, uh, we, we've met before. Uh, I just bought this glad in a way that I haven't seen you going through the puzzles yet. Oh, great. Wow, 1030JH. You've actually bought this game just after watching me playing it. Amazing. Well, you know, I, I'm sec you know, I'm through a playthrough, so you've not seen all the initial puzzles. Um, that's great. Amazing. Okay, I'm glad you bought this game. It's on the Epic Game Store. I should get a cut, to be honest. <laughs> all right. So how, do I, how am I going to get it off that button, right? If I clone it, maybe I can put it on top and it causes the... Oh, look at that. Oh, right, and it pushes it off, and it, oh, look at me, I'm a genius. Look at the genius. Guys, like, you know, I'm so, oh, 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 look, look, look. There we go, there we go. Sorry, sorry, it's got to happen. Wow, man, I'm glad you bought the game, 1030JH. But please, you know, uh, tweet Pillow Castle Games and let them know that you bought it after watching me stream. <laughs> John Cena, is that you? I don't know that joke. So there's, there's an in-joke happening between Marta and Faz D. You like the piano vibes? Yeah, this is actually in the game, guys. This isn't just some music I've got in the background. Right. There we go. Boom. I knocked that off. And straight through here. Oh, I bet that's going to clone. Oh, no. Different music. There we go. Now, we're oh, look at this room. This looks like a proper museum. So, big red apple. Um, a fan. That's, you know what? I reckon you've got to put the apple up there and the fan is meant to blow it. Let's get up here and see what's going on up here. Come up here. Oh, right. There is a big button here where, and that opens that door. Right, I need to get the apple up there. But the thing is, if I try to, the fan will blow it away, so it wants me to do a perspective thing, a forced perspective thing. Check this out, right? So you grab that apple. So, hold on, this is what you're meant to do. I think you're meant to come here. Uh, grab the apple. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't. Can't I pick it up, though? I, oh, it just keeps on. To be honest, the physics there aren't correct, but let's see. Is it the fan sucking it or is it blowing it? And then the fan blows it. Right, this game is really silly apple. <laughs> Marta's like saying silly apple. So I need to clone it in a way that on um... oh they're coming out different colors hold on if I do this maybe I can get them close enough to me no that fan is way too strong Look at this. Oh, yeah, 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 That's it. I need to get it close enough to me. If you do this. On. Boom. <laughs> How scary. All right, watch this. If I do it fast enough, enough of them will come up this way and, and land on the thing, right? Who's that? Is now hosting my stream. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Miss... Ah, uh, Miss Kebs from yesterday. Thank you so much for hosting my stream. Uh, I'm hoping that I can get... There, boom! Look at that! Look at that! I'm a genius! I'm an amazing genius. I'm going to get through that door before those apples roll off. Boom. Oh, my God. See, guys? See, what I'm impressed by, I just want to let you know this. I'm going to take two seconds just to tell you a little story, guys, right? Um, 
I failed all my GCSEs. And for those of you, I'd imagine most of the viewers in here are, are from the United Kingdom, which means that I failed high school. I think that's a bigger deal in America. Um, but uh, yeah, I failed high school. I got kicked out of all of my GCSEs. No, I got kicked out of two of my GCSEs and I failed the rest. Absolutely failed the rest uh, because school didn't work for me. And I kind of felt stupid. And I went and did better in college. Then we got a job in the games industry, became a stand-up comedian. I've got to travel the world and I've become the, oh look, look, one of the apples has chased me in here. Oh my God, the apples are crawling through. Look at me. I'm going to take that apple. I can do something with it. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Look at that. My story is amazing. My so Miss Kebs is asking, what kind of game is this? So Miss Kebs, uh, th this type of... By the way, Miss Kebs is very good at Among Us. She's extremely good at lying and extremely good at blaming other people. Um, so if those are kind of traits that you would like to have uh, at your company, hire her immediately. She would make an incredibly good lawyer. Uh, if your company does something wrong, she'll get you off the hook, right? Uh, and if someone's done something wrong to you, she uh, or even if someone's not got something done something wrong to you, she'll get them in trouble. She is that good, right? So I highly recommend her. Uh, Miss Kebs, you're asking what game is this? This is super liminal. Uh, it's a game about forced per perspectives, and you've got to change the way that you look at the world in order to solve the problems. And I'm really impressed with how I've been solving these problems. And so I just want to say that even though I failed high school, I went on still to you know be, uh, be in the games industry, become a stand-up comedian, travel the world, do interesting things. And this just shows life is full of problems. This game is full of problems. And how you solve them is not just because you're good at maths or you're good at you know regurgitating stuff that you've been taught, but that you have the ability to change the way you look at stuff. And this game forces you to do that. Um, that's what the game is about. So it's amazing design. Uh, and I highly recommend it to everybody. It's available on the Epic Game Store right now for about 11 quid, I think it is. Uh, it will be available on Steam very soon. But if you can't wait, get it on Epic Games right now like I've done. And you can have as much fun as I'm having with it right and this just goes to show that if you were at school and you were told that you weren't you know that you might not amount to much or you didn't do well in your grades this game can show you that you uh, that you know intelligence isn't just in memorizing dates and numbers right thank you martyr i'm glad that you appreciated that right um and oh martyr and miss kebs know each other okay small world sounds like your kind of game does it kebs absolutely uh i have adhd so flopped at school you know adh i don't know what adh i know what it stands for but like w when we were at school we didn't have that we were just told stop fidgeting right pay attention that's it we were just screamed at and the generation before us they used to get slapped right we're not yeah so like you know some of the adults the, the guys who were like 10 years older than me they used to get slapped at school and by the time you know uh, we came about you weren't allowed to hit kids and now uh, i don't think you can do anything i think <laughs> i don't know you can do you can do anything but you know just because you flopped at school doesn't mean that you don't possess the capacity to uh, maximize your potential of course you do just school wasn't right for us and i think the secondary school education in in britain uh needs a lot of reform because you go from primary school where it's all happy and you know you're having a great time and you've got friends at least that might that's what my experience was and then you go to secondary school where you've got to wear this uniform and it's very very strict and if you fail your gcse's your life's over blah 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 and you've got to study stuff you're not interested in and get told off in detentions you're growing into an adult and instead of treating you like an adult you're, you're forcibly like treated like a soldier effectively that was my experience anyway but you know I'm almost 41 years old, so, you know, big difference now. Um, but yeah, this game makes me feel clever, and clearly I'm solving the problems, and there are many people who, who can't even play video games. Um, so, you know, they need to play more video games and stop, you know, doing their homework. I don't believe in homework, by the way. I believe in, you know, continuing to learn, absolutely important, but forcing kids to go home after a hard day at school and do more homework is a way to condition you to do unpaid overtime when you grow up. See? Conspiracy theories, these are the ones you need to listen to. You're very educated. Oh, well, it sounds like I'm very educated because I read a lot. I read a lot and I watch a lot of documentaries. I take a great, I've, a, a, I have a passion for learning. And uh, through stand-up comedy, I've got, I've been exposed to different cultures and 
uh, people from different walks of life that expanded my mind also being in the games industry um if you when when i went to the games industry the guys who worked in the language department so your french your italian your spanish uh, your germans your french all these guys uh, they were really really fascinating because they had traveled a bit more and they, they all spoke multiple languages um, and uh, th they were great to be around and you got to learn about you know the, uh, it was like the whole of Europe was in a little room over at Sega Europe and you could uh, and, and talk to these guys and learn about their world right so back to this game I'm in this room here and obviously I need to get up there and I bet I need there we go boom yeah but Is that going to be enough? No, I need loads more. Right, so what we do, we do this, we go. Boom, 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 And that should get me through. Somnus Sculpt. There we go, we did it. Oh, and you need to actually get up here, it seems. Oh, and there's a hole. There's a hole in the ground. There's no door that you have to go through, but a hole in the ground. But is there any point of going this way? Is there anything that I can interact with, maybe? For those of you, you know, I'm sure most of you here have got Amazon Prime and you've got uh, Netflix. I'd recommend Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is basically the Netflix of documentaries and it's made by the people over at the Discovery Channel. Uh, if you want to get it, I got it for £15 for the whole year. Uh, there's a, you go to Kyrgyzakt. Uh, some of you might know, if you go to YouTube and type in Kyrgyzakt, uh, don't ask me to spell it, just K U R Z. S-E-G-A-G-T or something like that. It's a great science, it's a channel, it's a, uh, it's a science channel and uh, there's a code. If you type in Kyrgyzakt on the Curiosity Stream website, you can get like a, like 20% off whatever it is and get it 15 pound for the whole year. Uh, Cause I love, I love myself proper documentaries. Oh, wow, I've got it on this side. There we go. Uh, it's outside, it's not outside. Oh, another fire extinguisher. Why do they put these in the game? These guys are mad. Oh, floppy disk in the uh, bottom right hand corner. For those of you who know what a floppy disk is. What's this? Kyrgyzak. That's it, Missy Kebs. You know it. Wow. That's it. Uh, everyone who's reading uh, the... Um, who, who can watch the chat. Missy Kebs has uh, spelt it right. Kyrgyzak. Uh, look up that word on YouTube. Follow that channel. Uh, and they also give you discounts uh, for other science channels. And then you can use Kyrgyzak to get the, um, the discount on Curiosity Stream. Uh, which is basically just the Netflix of pure documentaries. And documentaries that you won't see on Netflix. Oh, there is a... Neuro something, um, neuro mor morality, neuro morality, and there's a it seems to be a postage thing over there. Can I use that torch? No, I can't. Right. Oh, there we go. We will be taking advantage of this fire extinguisher. Right. So this is very important science stuff here, guys. So kids who studied at school, they could look at that and they can make sense of it and write the formula and get the homework done. Right. Not me. I'll. I just want to play Street Fighter. Uh, there's a piece of chair, some chess going on, there's some gr schematics, pump trucks, all right, see these here, this is a pump truck. Attention, Hello. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Pretty much. So this over here, guys, is a pump truck, right? And my first ever job was at Debenhams uh, Stock Movement, October 1996, and I got paid £3.26 an hour. And we had to miss, uh, move around crates of goods on pump trucks like this. But what we did is that when they were empty like this, we used to ride them like scooters. And my friend Dwayne actually ran over our boss uh, and didn't get fired. Just thought I'd share that with you. Right. Oh, there's somebody's left a drink there. Oh, all right. Uh, the road has been closed and let's go through here. Oh, there's some messages here that you can't quite read. Lucid dreaming, guys. Has anybody tried lucid dreaming? Has anybody had a really lucid dream and gone, oh, I know I'm in a dream. And then you try and interact with people and ask them questions and, you know, trying to try to break it in that inception kind of way. Has anybody had that experience or just me? Okay, just me. Oh, saving again. So let's go through here. What's around here? employees only you know what they, they need to get another calendar they always use the same calendar march 1991 what about after i stop playing this game i'll be back in march 1991 
and I will know the future and no one will believe me. Oh, hello, look what it is. Sorry, guys, here we go again. Is it similar to uh, um, out-of-body experience? Is it similar? Uh, no, lucid dreaming is, it's a dream, but you're aware it's a dream, and then you, so you change your behavior, and you, you know, you, 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 instead of believing those people are real, you interact with them in a different way and try to go to places, you know, try to go, what about if I go there? What about if I go there? And out-of-body experience is when you come out of your body. Uh, lucid dreaming is so interesting. Yeah, Marta, uh, it is. I've, 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 right, when I say this, I may put some people off. I totally believe that I had an out-of-body experience. I don't know how I did it. it. Happened by pure accident, and it was so visceral. It it doesn't feel like any dream that I've ever had. And I've had a lot of lucid dreams, a lot of lucid dreams. But when I came out of my body, it happened twice, and it was so. It had such an impact on me. The moment I woke up, I rolled over, I grabbed my phone, and I texted my friend just so that I wouldn't think about it and go, you know what? I think that was just like a. I think that was just a. Uh, that was just a dream. Uh, that's how powerful it was. I don't know how I did it. Didn't take any drugs, didn't do any of that. Just It was just having a nap and then it happened. But look it up. Lucid dreaming, out-of-body experiences, fascinating experiences human beings can have. And then we attribute them to supernatural like kind of things. But we never know. I just think, you know, being alive in life itself is, is far more mysterious than our fiction uh, could probably even come up with. Sorry. I haven't got OCD. I'm just like, the reason I'm doing this is because I feel that if I do it, the game might reward me like it has for other pointless things in this weird game. All is worth exploring. Uh, I get sleep paralysis. That's scary. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Miss Kevs, if you get sleep paralysis, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's quite, uh, yeah, I, I've not had full on sleep, but I've had dreams in which I feel that I'm impaired massively and something's holding me down, but I've never, I'd, um, I've, uh, but I've snapped out of it pretty quickly. Like I've not been there for ages. Um, yeah, I don't know why that happens. Uh, good to explore. Check out this radio. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. This is Yoda. Age science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And but, no ifs or look good. Okay, all right. I'll take your word for it. Let's get out of here. And we'll move on. What's over here? So much this looks so mundane. Uh, oh, hello. What if I forget to set the alarm? Beep, 208, beep, 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 beep. Sometimes it's possible to be so tired that even when you set set an alarm, you will sleep through it. There is a level of when you're gone, you are gone. Kebs is saying it's quite fascinating how the human body shuts down into sleep mode to recharge. Or you know, it's fascinating. Your body has rights over you. You know, your body is you know as you may think, oh, I'm this person, I can do what I want. But you know, your body operates the way it operates. Your heart needs to beat. Your all your internal organs and all kinds of you know a whole host of stuff that I don't even know about has to operate the way it does in order for me to have this experience as me, as Imran Yusuf. And um, yeah, it's just when you need to sleep, you need to sleep. We need to get more sleep, guys. Honestly, don't just keep on working. Res uh, take a nap. You should power nap. Every I had a power nap. Before I started streaming, I had a 20 minute power nap. I set my alarm for 21 minutes, right? To give myself a minute to kind of, you know, just get comfortable. Uh, and then uh, I have a little power nap and it does wonders for my brain. And that's why I'm incredibly lucid and very clever at these puzzles. And get into the oh no 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 got to do that and boink there we go phil's friendly family produce farm to mind mind to heart farm to mind oh and going to sleep so it looks like i've completed that level it's loading this is my favorite loading screens this is just so inventive okay now there's only one alarm and it's 7 a.m i've switched it off and uh oh relaxation room before i go through that i'm just going to double check all this stuff out here you guys should meditate i would highly recommend meditate somebody said i had a dream down here no i love this oh hello it's here Look at that. See, it wants me to go in there, or should I go that way? 
Let's sit here. Can I sit down here? Imagine that, guys. Imagine sitting and that was your home theatre. But, you know, filled with people that you like and people who don't talk through cinema, uh, talk, talk through films. Imagine that. Just chilling out. That'd be quite nice. But you know what? On with the game. I'm just going to double check. See, I get, I've got this issue with when I play games, I need to explore every nook and cranny so I don't miss anything. Well, what's that? About us, our mission. We can't really read that properly, so. Um, meditation with Imran. Marta saying, yeah. You know what? You can do Meditation. Often, right? I think meditation is sold out to be much more like you know you've got to sit in a certain way and you've got to only eat vegan and then you got to you know your root chakra and all of that i think you've just got to just chill out just chill out don't make a big deal about it uh kebs is saying i try to meditate but my brain is quite hectic with the adhd and old age you're not old miss kebs um it's right I'll, 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 so what you're saying there Kebs it can be hard to meditate because you feel that your mind is quite hectic and I've suffered from that as well like I've been I'm thinking about 500 different things but the things with meditation you need to practice it right so let's say when you try to meditate you're thinking of 500 things try and get that down to 499 things 498 things or you know well, I'm being an example there if you're thinking of 10 things at the same time reduce it down to nine things eight things whatever and focus on your breathing be aware that you inhabit your body like a ghost right and you're having the experience of you. And that's really helped me with meditation. And then the meditation only lasts like a few minutes. And then I'm like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to do it anymore. I think these images of watching like really healthy people sitting on rocks with their legs crossed over and being really flexible, meditating is what we should aspire to be like. Uh, and I think that's incorrect. Anyone can meditate in the way that is best for them. Meditate, uh, Marta saying, meditating in this day and age is extra hard. Definitely worth the practice though. Yeah, just switch off, get away from it all. You know, switch everything off, get away, get away from people who will irritate you uh, and, and just do it. And I think it ultimately starts with self-love guys. Not in that way that where you touch yourself. Uh, that you can do later. That's a different form of meditation. But you should meditate uh, by just taking time for yourself. Love yourself and give yourself peace of mind. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Okay. Um, all right, now we're on the other side of it. Okay, so ding, 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 ding. Oh, how did I miss this? Please don't turn into a million. Oh, there's only one. Thank goodness for that. Can I touch any of this stuff? Nope. So as you can see, there's this initial part that, well, that just looks like I'm going into an empty. Oh, look, look at that. Ah! And I've hit the ground, right. Looking around. And there is a house. Okay, now uh, that's going to clone itself or I'll be able to move it around and make it massive so I can get out. Oh, that's how I got in. I fell through that hole. Right, so how do I get out of this room? There are no doors leading out of this room. But maybe, maybe, just maybe. Look at this. Oh my God, isn't that mad? Isn't that mad? So, is there anything else on that table that I can take? I've just made that massive. Is I know, Miss Kes. Whoa! This is what I love about this game. I love how mad it is. Can I? Yeah, but how am I meant to get up there? Maybe one of these chairs. Can I touch one of these chairs? No, I can't. Hold on, maybe I can grab this or this. No. No. Oh, wow. It just let me jump up. Okay. Am I crouched down? Feels like I'm crouched down. Is that right? Hold on. If I. Sorry, I'm gonna jump here. So that looks like I'm...
Oh, wow. Okay, it's quite generous with the jumping there. Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Absolutely. You know, this is um, just changing the way you look at things changes, you know. Whenever we worry about things in life, if you change the way you look at it, it might change it. I just feel smaller. Oh, you know what? I should feel smaller because I've made that house massive. So it's messing with my mind. And so that looks like a bigger room. This looks like a smaller room. Oh, look. But how am I? I meant to get out through that door, but I can't. Because I am... In this room, that door is tiny and I am massive. Right? And in this room... Oh, I'm back outside the house. What? What? How am I meant to get... Guys, what's going on? Like, what is going on? What's this? It's a lectern. All right. Guys, what is going on in this place? Right, what about if I take it? I made it even bigger. And now I'm tiny and I can grab... Oh my, isn't that mad? I feel so clever. I feel so cl Look at that. Guys, I'm just... I had to make it so massive that I would be normal size again. The music went weird there. Can I take that with me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, oh, I got it wedged perfectly in there. Look at that good old CRT TV, guys. is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Thank you very much for your message. Let's take this. I don't trust this game. Can I use that? Where is that light? No, I can't interact with it in any kind of way. All right. This place be tripping. Absolutely, you're right, Kebs. This place is be, it, it is definitely tripping. You know what this reminds me? Do you remember the game on the GameCube, Eternal Darkness? Not that I played it, but I was aware that the game deliberately played with your experiences so it'll like you're playing the game and suddenly the game will be like your controller has been disconnected and once you're panicking monsters are coming at you but your controller hasn't been disconnected it's just there to wind you up um i don't think you'd be allowed to do that anymore oh that's very dangerous Let's jump out of the way I'm taking this massive speaker with me everywhere i go what's that that noise Oh, yeah, you can't move through things. Um, no, can't get up there for any reason. All right, let's go through here. And here we are, in a new room. Uh, hey, Jenga! That looks like a game of Jenga. And there's a door up there. There's a door up there. Oh, is that a fan? Can I hear a fan? There's a tiny fan here. Oh, right, okay. And that fan, I bet if I pick it up and I make it big enough, it will knock this Jenga block over and um, and I'll be able to get to the door. Do you reckon that's it, guys? So let's go up to the fan. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that mad? Isn't that just bad? Whoops. Done. I'm so good at solving these problems. Big brain, you're saying. You know what? It's just, it's, it's weird. We've all got the same, like, kind of, you know, 
I think your brain grows like a muscle and the more you kind of learn but it's not just about learning it's not just about reading and and all of that it's also knowing to relax because it's like if you go to the gym and you just do loads of exercise but then you don't eat correctly and sleep correctly you won't have the fuel to repair the damage you've done to those muscles in the gym so it's not about how much you're doing and i think the same with the brain it's not about how much you've read it's about you know do sufficient learning but also have time to do other things leisure activities and resting because that helps your brain grow and make new you know what is it neural pathways uh joe saying the next room should really make you rebuild it <laughs> that awesome those are the, those are the generals the jenna rules or the jenga rules Them's, 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 them's the generals. Absolutely, Marta's saying, with a Yakuza Kiw uh, Kiwami uh, emote there. Jenga, <laughs> yeah, I thought as much. Right, so I'm in a room now that I've just got into, and uh, there seems to be, look, there's other space there. Oh, look, hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that. Mad. And you can... How crazy is that? Wow. Okay. So, oh, you're just meant to walk through there, are you? Am I not meant to grab any of this stuff? Whoa, look at that. Loads of lockers. Can I touch the dial? And we get through here. Oh, shower. I'm not a fan of like public changing rooms and showers, like, you know, just privacy guys. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Okay, thanks a lot, Glenn Pierce. I found that very reassuring. Oh, someone's dropped a towel. That's going to be full of germs. Once it's touched the floor, it's game over, guys. Uh, what is it? Wish this would apply to real life. Wouldn't that be amazing, uh, Kebs, if in real life you could just be like, it, it solve your problems using the rules here. Make chocolate cake massive. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? There's a YouTube channel of how to make chocolate cake uh, using very basic ingredients and your microwave like no baking um her name is something fontanella uh there's a girl on youtube she's uh american italian and just look up on youtube something fontanella fontanella uh chocolate cake recipe and she's just such a delight to listen to and she'll tell you like using basic ingredients how you can make a chocolate cake in your microwave and it will look like it's actually like a baked cake that you got from that you would have baked in the oven Marta saying to Kev, I like your style. Amazing. Is it in a mug? No, not in a mug, in a bowl. In a bowl. I don't know how to make it. Like, I, 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 that, that is too far for me, like, in a mug. Like, if you've got, you know, a, a microwave, like a proper a cake in a bowl. I, I didn't know how to do that. Great minds think alike, you guys are saying. I'm glad you guys are friends. Oh, look. Oh, bouncy castle. So I'm in a swimming pool. And in order for me to be... I love the art style of this, guys. Don't you think so? The art director of this game uh, knows what they're doing. Like, they just know what they're doing. Just This is the kind of person you'd like to come in and design your multi-million pound home. So if we make that massive... Whoa, my God! Oh, I can't get in. Oh, there's a whole... But I want to use that. Oh, yeah, but there's nowhere to go. You could just run around and there'd be nothing to do. What a lovely, but like, you know, this feels like it's from, I'm going to dare to say like, you know, early to mid 20th century. This is what like a, or earliest 20th century or late 19th century. Uh, I don't know, guys. I've just seen films and I'm trying to sound clever. Um, right, here we go. Now I'm tiny. I'm tiny. I've just come out of a bouncy castle and I'm tiny. This game is mad. It is just mad. Imagine the divine power that created everything, just how mad its powers are, because this is insane. Right. Yeah, the cakes you microwave in a mug are awesome. I've never had one. I've never had one. Any cake is awesome lot. Yeah, you're right. Cake. We all love cake. Right, guys. Um, I didn't expect this. Oh, no. This is classic video game trope right here. You're having to go through the vent. 
obviously that was invented by Bruce Willis in Die Hard, but now it's for everybody. Oh my God. Yeah, but I can't. That would be mad, isn't it? Imagine you can jump out and that you could fill the pool up and you could jump in the water. Um, right, so... Why are you showing me that? By bringing me in here, you want me to see... Oh, you know what? There's the door. There's the door right in front of me, slap bang in the middle of the screen. I meant to get through that door. But the only way that's possible is if I make that bouncy castle so big that it helps me climb, maybe? Oh, maybe I can grab the... Oh, I can. Hold on, is that, what about if I do this? What about, now it's upside down. If I come out. Now it's upside down. <laughs> it's so big. I can't even get inside. Oh my God, I've made, I'm gonna break the game. There's not gonna be enough RAM. Uh, who's that? Hey, it's Cold Zero. John, hey, bro. Loving your super liminal gameplay. Thank you so much. My friend John, everybody say hello to Cold Zero 2006. My friend John Hegarty uh, used to work with at Sega. He's in the house. It's, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it, bro. It's, uh, it's blowing my mind at the second. Right. Right. I'm in trouble here now because it's so big I can't get back inside it. So I need to make it small. Um, I need to make it small enough. But I can't get up on it now. Hold on, you know what you need to do? I need to make it small enough so I can jump on it. And then... No. Come on. No, it won't let me do it. And what I can do is that... I can, no, because the moment you hold it, you, it won't let you do the thing. Right. I'm in trouble here. I can't get up. Ah! Oh, you guys are waving. Amazing. Right, guys. So I need to make it big enough that I can get to the door there. But how... Right. This has stumped me a bit. Uh oh No, 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 no. Yeah, but can I jump up? It won't let me... No. A little bit bigger. No, nope. too big. No, nope. too small. Too still small. Right, this is really text te uh, testing me now. I came in through there. Hot, maybe it can be. Um, no, nope, that's not it. Oh, I can't get through there now. What's going on? Right. Wow, this is getting really difficult. Hmm. Maybe I need to leverage it so I can jump up on. And then jump up here. No, nope. that's not having it at all. Wow. All right. This has got me a bit. Ah, won't let me through. There we go. Right, now I'm through. It's big enough and I need to come through here and find it again. Right, so, there we go. There it is, and I need to make it... Oh, hold on, I need to rotate it, which is what I don't do. No, where'd it go? Right, hold on. There's a way to rotate it that I've forgotten how to do. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I'll keep on dropping it now. That's a little cake. No. Right. Oh, so there's the door. The door's in front of me. So if I make it... No. Oh, right, yeah, that's what I need. That's exactly what I need. 
I'll just make it small enough and I place it up here. I can't believe that. Now I feel stupid. Now I feel stupid. I should have just placed it there. So when I come, but how do I rotate it? I've forgotten how to rotate it. Oh, there we go. And what I'll do, I'll rotate it like that. There, put it down. And now when I come out through here, the door will be right in front of me. Look at that. Genius! I feel so clever. I feel so clever. Guys, you know what? I'm just gonna give myself a round of applause. There we go. And now I'm through. And now I'm tiny again. I'm tiny. Will this give me an opportunity to make myself big again? As I walk around. Oh no, they've given me another tiny door. Let's see, let's talk to this guy. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Oh, this sounds exciting. Perhaps I'm at the end of the game. You like that joke? Do you like? I, I finally like. I feel stupid that I didn't figure that out earlier. That I could just. It's weird because you know I'm dealing with a door that I'm on the inside of, but it's external to me. So you know, without video games, how would we explore these concepts? Someone could tell you in a book. They might be able to show you a video, but in a video game, you actually get to play it. Video games should be mandatory learning tools in schools. What? So I've come out of that door. All right. So maybe I grab that and make it big. Yeah. What else is in this room? Oh, there's a projector that's projecting just light. So you can't, oh, I can clap. Right. Uh oh, don't do that. Oh, fortunately the physics in here helps you. So I'm now walking through this door and I'm tiny again. What? Hold on. All right, guys, I'm in trouble. I only got it about five seconds before you, Joe's saying. All right, okay, well, <laughs> I don't feel so bad about myself now. Right, we go through here. Guys, this is just gonna go in forever. Where am I meant to go? Maybe I'm meant to get through that gap. All right, hold on. Hold on, what you do, you have to move back here. If I sent from far away enough. But how do I? Uh oh. If I can get it up there, there we go. Now it's tiny. It'll be easier to do. Right? Almost. Right. Almost. Uh, it's not a projector, it's a keyhole. Um, it looked like a projector because we were in a room with the projector, but you're right, it is a keyhole. So if I can just get that in there. Boom. There we go. And now I walk through this door. Where am I? All right, so that's a, so that was it. If we go back here quickly, that was great, innit? Thanks for your help there, John. You're you're right. It's it is uh, like a keyhole. That's the room that I came out of, and I managed to drop this through the keyhole. I loved it. That whatever the guys at this development company are on, I want some. Look at that. It just looks lovely, like beautiful painting. Just uh, just everything about this game should be winning awards if it's not already won awards. Whoa, and it takes me ages to fall because I'm so tiny. Doosh. Look at the size of these chest pieces and I'm moving so slowly as well. Oh my God, this is painful. Hold on. 
It's gonna take me ages to get to that house. And the thing is, right, what I could do is that if I get in here, maybe I can turn myself into normal size. But right, so, right guys, I know it's tempting to go out of here, but I want to explore the rest of the level. But it'll take forever. Oh my gosh, it will just take forever. All right, you know what? I don't, I, I, I can't do that with you guys. I don't want to burden you uh, with just slowly going through the level. Check it out. There we go. Because obviously this is what I was meant to discover. I'm still tiny. I'm still tiny. But what about if I turn the house into my own size? Maybe that will make things better. That's what I meant to do. Is to come out here. Instead of making the house massive... There we go. Now I'm normal. I'm normal human size. So that means when I come out here, oh no, I'm still, I'm still tiny. All right, let's make it normal human size. And I'm in here now. Five to six streams is the absolute limit. What's the emergency protocol to, to the emergency protocol? Just goes on forever, doesn't it? I've often thought about this, guys. Um, you know. When you, when you see a piece of art, right, you go, all oh, right, that's done in Photoshop, right? But what is the program that programmers use to make Photoshop, right? And then what is the program that's used to make the program that's used to make the program to make Photoshop? And then what's the program to make the program to make the program to make the program? And it just goes on forever. And you realize that's really scary. Where does that actually begin? Also, we're all worried about artificial intelligence. Uh, artificial, uh, artificial intelligence. Can't even say it properly, right? Uh, we're all worried about artificial intelligence and how if machines become self-aware, what would happen? But what about if we are the machines, the biological machines that have become self-aware, and what we are doing to the reality we exist in? is what machines will do if they become self-aware. But we look at them and go, well, they can't become self-aware because they, they're not like us. But maybe they could become like us and we have to prevent them from becoming like us somehow. How do we do that? Punch cards, bro. All right, here we go. I'm in the lift. Meeting for Cardboard Lovers Association, November the 22nd, 1991. Association Clubhouse, 7 p.m. Agenda. And there's a picture of a cat there. Loading 7,800, 1,000%. Oh, apparently this game is five hours long. So I don't know. I've played it. I think I'm three hours in now. But as you see, I'm pretty much caning it. Emergency, Emergency exit, exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8, error. Error logged by orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Oh my god. What's going on here? Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable as some aspects therapy up. is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Punch cards. There we go. Can I use this? No, I can't. Some stairs. Oh, look at that. There's a cube. No, I can't use that. There's a lot of just nonsense here. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Guys, what is going on? Reformulating. Why are there pointless bollards? Oh, I can see an outside there. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnus. CRT therapy. monitor. Conclusion. Emergency Love it. exit protocol cannot proceed. I bet some Emergency of you are too young to understand has been or, or, or have experienced destroyed. CRT monitors. Right, what is going on? Wake up, just as wake up, wake up, wake up. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. 
This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. But it's just a brick wall. What? What? Oh man! What is this game? What is this game? Uh, JD, the singularity, once all the AI achieves its self-awareness and is able to improve its own program repeatedly in a virtual instant, then that, uh, th uh, then that our biological slow evolution, we will likely become irrelevant to the AI as our intelligence will be like us versus an ant. Do you reckon so? Maybe it's already happened and we're not even aware of it. Like somewhere in this vast universe, it's already happened. And maybe we are it. This is it. Maybe this is the pinnacle of that evolution. What is this game's going to keep on doing this to me? Sometimes I feel, am I playing a game or is this just your, your what's happened? I, you know that movie, The Game with Michael Douglas, where, um, what is going on? It's not going to let me make it to the end of the, what, the game just, what's, yeah. Oi, why am I tiny? I can't move. Yo, what's going on? I can't move. I can barely move. Oh, hold on. What? Yo, what's going on? What the? Oh, it's upside down. This game is messed up. This game is so... I can still hear that beepity beep, beepity beep. Just shut up. There it is. What? It's... What is with this game? Hold on. Oh. If I touch that, if I hit the snooze button again. Yeah, it's having already happened. It's most likely reality from a statistical point of view, Joe is saying. By the way, the game is an awesome movie. Yeah, so those of you who have not seen the game, the game is a movie with Michael Douglas. And I don't want to reveal anything about it. Uh, but if, if you're enjoying this game and you question reality and, you know, have got existential uh, queries, the game is a great film to watch. It's quite long. Uh... uh it's not happy, happy, fun, fun, joy, but it's a great film to watch. I recommend it. Michael Douglas, uh, The Game. Please check that out. I highly recommend it to you. Um, if it's too much for you, just try The Truman Show. This is weird. What is going on in this game? What? Yo. There's nothing here. Maybe this is what it feels like when you discover everything in the universe. Imagine that. Oh, hello. Look, that painting, there's some depth to it. Oh, hold on. Whoa, what's going on? No, I can't walk into it. Oh, hold on. If I take that. I'm inside the painting. Yo, look, that's mad. That's proper mad. I jumped through the painting. I jumped and, and there's a whole other room. Oh my God, this is, this is game is just proper nuts. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt standard orientation protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Oh, uh, J Dark 64 Joe is saying, Ditto Vanilla Sky. I've not seen Vanilla Sky. I will watch that. I believe it's on Amazon Prime. Uh, and the 13th Floor. I have seen the 13th Floor. You won't believe this. Uh, the 13th Floor was recommended as a film to watch by David Icke years ago. He goes, you should watch it. This film is a bit like, you know, I'm, you know, maybe he was suggesting that it's been made by an insider to help humankind wake up that, you know, life itself is a massive simulation. Uh, but the 13th Floor is a good film as well. I did enjoy it. Um, I'm sure you can find that somewhere. Um, this game is what I, we need to tell David Icke about this game. I think he'd enjoy it. Maybe you'd chill out as well if you watched it. What is it with all of this? All right, this is just going to keep on doing this to me, is it? Corridor. Oh, there's a... Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened? Yo, 
Like, the gravity and everything is messed up. What is... I don't understand. Everything I... Every time I press something, it just goes in a weird direction. All oh, right. Okay. All right. So, gravity is proper messed up here, guys. Uh, if I go through here... Whoa. Boom. N look at this. I think I'm going to hit the ceiling. And I need to get to that door. What is going on with this game? What? Oh my god. I need to somehow get through there. Alright, so I've got to figure out how the controls are messed up now. I need to get through that door. Right. That takes me that way. That takes me that way. That takes me that way. That doesn't do anything. I think you need to move through it backwards. This game would be a nightmare for the QA team. You, you know what? You'd have to work closely with the designers. You'd have to just go, right, guys, how have you designed this? Um, but you know what? But then that's part of it. You're not allowed to tell them. They need to figure out how to break it. Or at least know what they... Because there's very limited things that you can interact with in this game. The only things you can interact with, the incidental things are like the fire extinguishers and the little fire, uh, fire alarms. Uh, everything else seems to have a purpose. Um, guys, I'm proper stuck. Oh, there we go. I can move along this wall. Oh, wherever I put that, there's a... Well, it's done it again. Oh, it's doing it again. It's doing it again. Can I touch that? I can touch. So, there we go. I can get through there, right? Come on. Let me go through there. No. Come on. Let me through. Right. That's... But why won't it let me through it? Oh, you know what? I think it's because the wall ends. There we go. Boom. All right. I'm in this room. And it's still doing this weird... Okay, there's a crack in the painting there. So surely I just need to move through that. Oh, hello. Oh. What is going on with this game, guys? Like, what is going... This is properly doing my noodling. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. The game is playing with us. You're right, Marta. The game is playing with us, right? Not the other way around. And what's interesting is that, is just imagine that your entire life, everything you believe in, everything that you think makes sense and and other people around you agree with is actually just incidental it's all and it's uh and imagine challenging the perspective of everything that you think is that you think is real and definite everything absolutely everything including life and death right how am i You know what, I, I, I'm i not really enjoying, the, look at that, what weirdness is going on there, hold on, I bet there's going to be like, if I look at it from the right angle, I can use it or something, or they did that earlier on. What? No! Oh my gosh, I didn't know that was there. Okay, well there you go, finally, so there's some curving steps here. And they obviously want me to get up there. Right, okay. But they're curving steps. But see, they're curving steps, but they're not if you look at it from here. Or maybe.
Oh no, maybe they always remain curving steps. Whoa, and it threw all the other chairs. What? No! Whoa! That sound makes it like I've got to get out of here. Oh, I can take the table. I'm taking the table. I got the table. I got the table. What? Exit temporarily moved. Oh, I can't take it out of there. All right. Bonk, and I'm down here. The music's changed. I think it wants me to get out of here. Perception is not reality. No trespassing. This game's already saying this game is playing with us not the other way around all right this is not how i thought my sunday would go but i like it paradigms being shifted what absolutely marta we're on the same vibe we're on the same level oh what i'm jumping through this nonsense again um dead end come through here what you'll make me do it again it says dead end Oh, it looks like there's a door. What is going on? Right. Now, it's going to be the same thing. Maybe I need to jump. Maybe I can grab something here. Hold on. What about if I go back? I jump through it. No. How many times do I need to jump through this? Right, okay. Something has to change here. There's got to be another way. Because we're just doing the same thing over and over again. You know what? Maybe it's that jump. Oh, no. What? That was... It's changed... It's changed the... It changed it in that last one. No, it won't let me jump there. All right, guys. I am... This is... There's nothing to interact with here. Hold on. Can't touch that. There must be. There must be something to interact with here. There must be. Hall number. Oh. Have I not? Hall one. Is that something to do with it? Hall one. All right, let's see if the hall numbers change. No. They always remain hall one. Oh, there we go. This, for some reason, has changed. Right. Well, there's a grate up there, but it doesn't do anything. I'm trying to interact with everything. No. The hall number doesn't do anything. I am stuck, guys. The number changes when you jump down. Does it? Hall 2. Hello. Oh, well done for noticing there. Hall 2. 
Hall 3. Oh, right. Okay. Maybe that's it. I've got to keep on jumping until I figure it out. Uh, it's gone to Hall 1. All right. Maybe we need to get back to Hall 3 and the, and the, and the thing is... No, that's Hall 1. Hall 2. Maybe this one will be Hall 3. Right. Okay. Is there a difference? The hall number is changing. I should have been paying attention to that, to be honest, Joe. As a gamer, I should have been paying attention to that. What about if I jump? No, it's back to hall one. All right, hall one again. Oh. And hall two. Hall one. And hall one. Okay, I think it's about the jump. You've got to jump. It never changes. Right. That's hall one. Right, if I let's do another jump. No, I didn't accept it either. I am proper stuck. Hall two. Oh, hold on. What about if I just do loads of jumps? Hall three. Will it give me a hall four now? Will it give me a hall four if I jump? No, you've got to do a proper jump. Maybe I'm not getting clean jumps in. Hall two, it's a clean jump. No. Hall two. Oh my gosh, I'm proper stuck now. The game has properly got me. So there's three different halls that you can trigger. I think with your jumps. Or is it just falling down? There's hall two. Hall one. No, it's got to be a jump. It's got to be a jump, it seems. Hall two. Yeah, there's a sweet spot that you got to jump in. Oh, no, no, that's not true. No, and it goes back to hall one. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. <laughs> this is the most boring part of this stream has been stuck here. There's Hall 2. Maybe Hall 2 has got something that I'm not too sure of. Can you go back out of one of the other? No, you can't jump back up. There's nothing I can prop up. Nothing I can use. So it's stuck. I am stuck. That beam being there seems to be purposeful. Can you back out one of the other halls? So, no, you can't, like, I can't back up there. I can't jump up. And so, hall four, what happened there? What did I just do? I have no idea, I just jumped through the thing. Don't do this to me again. The yellow cleaning sign or walking through backwards. Yeah, maybe that's... Let's try walk through backwards. No, that doesn't seem to make a difference. Walking through backwards, hall two. 
right? And let's walk through backwards again. No, hall one. It's something to do with the jumping. Right. Caution wet. Is that a clue? Hall two. Go through the door the exit sign is pointing to. Yep, this one. And that says go left. Yep, yeah, but this. Oh, hold on. No, there's nothing here. It says, but remember, we found a hall four. We did find a hall four, and I think it's to do with the jumping. Oh my god, what's going on? Nothing. We managed to get to hall four. Hmm. Right. So look at the variables here. It seems that jumping makes a difference. All right. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to walk through all the doors. I'm not going to jump. Oh, somebody is, is now hosting my stream. One viewers. Thank you. Hey, Ipsostron is here. Man, Ibrahim is here. Thank you so much, Ibrahim. Um, I've been doing extremely well. Uh, on super liminal having loads of fun feeling very very clever but now I've got to a bit where I'm stuck in like really stuck John is here helping me Joe here is helping me Mark is helping me as well I think Missy Kebs has gone on holiday uh, it's really 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 hard right so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to walk through it no jumps absolutely no jumps right but let's just see what hall we're in we're in hall one okay and I'm going to walk through only walking through now all right walk hall two whoops no not that way Hall one. Hall one. Hall one. Okay, and one more time. I think I've got a different idea now. Hall one, right. Hall one says go that way. So you come here, you go back this way, right? Because it's said to go that way. You drop down here, you hall one again, you go down this way, you come through this way, and you drop down, and it's still hall one. Maybe you deliberately should go opposite. Hall one. Right. Hall three. Right, deliberately go opposite and then no. Maybe don't look at the red signs before going through the door. Hmm. Perce oh, hold on. Perception is not reality. Maybe looking at that is causing a problem. But then that means no. So when you get to hall one, hall one is a right, right? Hall one is a right. Never. Ah, oh, you. What are you doing? Hall two. Hall one. Okay, you know what? I think I've got it. I think I've got it. The music's changed. You've got you. You, you shouldn't look at it. Oh, this bit. Masood has been here. Masood, don't spit. Uh, please don't tell us what it is. We're stuck. Like I'm stuck, but I think I figured it out. I'm not meant to look at the signs. It looks like right. So we know that we made the mistake of looking at that. What? Okay, thanks, Masood. That's true. Oh, hall three. Hall four. Ah, you bastard. Oh, I swore. Sorry. Well, I didn't really. You know what? Here we go. I think I figured it out. Don't look at it at all. No. D 
Damn it! I'll figure it out eventually, guys. Right. Whatever door you look at first is bricked up. If that door that's bricked up is the exit door, the other door will drop off at, at the beginning. Whatever door you look at first is bricked up. I don't understand that. Oh, right, you reckon it's a perception thing. Whatever I look at first. No! Whatever I'm looking at first. I'm looking for the telltale sign, which is that. Ah, I did it again. Oh. There's three. Ah! <laughs> the exit sign is your guide. Okay. Like, look at it. Or it's telling me not to look at it. All oh, right, okay, by looking at it. I need to look at it first. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Yeah, look at it. So look at the opposite of the exit sign. Well done, guys. Well done. I appreciate it. Nobody really sports it for me, but I figured out from the messages that you're saying there that I had to look at the no trespassing first and then go through the door, if that's correct. So, you know, not don't always follow the, the, the sign. Is that right? You know what? I don't know how we did this, but we got through it. I don't know how we did it, but we got through it. Is that right, Masood? Is that was it? That you had to look at the thing that told you, you had to look at the the the, the uh, no entry, and then go the opposite way. Like you just had to look at it. Like you had to accept that someone was denying you, and then go, oh, that awesome. Thank you for being here, Masood. I really appreciate. By the way, Masood Milas is a stand-up comedian and a Twitch streamer. Uh, if you're watching, please do give Masood a follow. He's a great guy uh, and great fun to watch him and has helped me set up my own streams as well. We got there. Go team. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, man. Right. Let's carry on and go. Boom. This is a nice, pleasurable... Right, so hopefully this will be fun. That's giant. And let's figure this out. It looks like... Oh, look. Can I jump through there, can I? No, it's a swimming pool. Right, so I'll take this. And I'd imagine. Oh, hold on, maybe I need to make it small. Is it tipping the water over? Is that what I need to do? Oh, no, what happened there? This music's gotten a bit too serious for my liking. It's quite scary. Oh no, just make it bigger. Oh no, a little bit bigger. No, too big. There we go. Where is it? What? Why did it end up over there? Weird, okay. The moral of the story is look at the sign, then ignore them. Much like in real life with no smoking sign on the plane or the no heavy petting sign at the Harrow Leisure Centre. Oh my God. 
Blue Lou, hello, who's Blue Lou? Hello, I thought I'd come after seeing you in Inel's chat. Oh, hello, Blue Lou. Well, thank you if you saw me in Inel's, uh, Inel's chat. Um, uh, Masood is saying, after you figured that out, you, your brain instantly pushed it out. Yeah, it, it wasn't fun, that one, but I'm glad we got through it. Unfortunately, I've got a great team of people watching me on the stream. Well, hello, Blue Lou. Uh, you're very welcome here. Have a, do have a good time. Say hello. Uh, oh, Marta and Blue Lou know each other. Well, welcome. Very funny, uh, Joe has just said there, no smoking on a plane, no heavy petting site at the Harrow Leisure Centre. So back in the day at the Harrow Leisure Centre, there was like uh, rules and regulations on how to behave in the swimming pool. And it was like, you know, no dive bombing in the swimming pool, no running, and also no heavy petting. And it was a picture of a man, you know, like touching up a woman because these were acceptable signs or signs that you had to have up in the 80s and 90s for some reason. No heavy petting. Unbelievable. Right, let's get out of here. I need to, I guess I just need to, can I walk on that? Oh no, I can. I can take it with me as well. Great. Whew. Some of these are fiendishly hard. I can't take that with me, so I'm gonna have to leave it here. Let's make it massive. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, mm. thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Without the help of triggering mechanisms. Right, uh, Blue Lou is saying, it's where I learnt what petting meant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Wow, all right, you've revealed a lot about yourself there, Blue Lou. Thank you very much. Let's keep it clean, it's a family show. Right, so obviously I just need to put that on there and dealt with. What? Oh my God, look what happened. It turned into a painting and it all messed up. That looks like a, that looks like a piece there, doesn't it? Oh, hold on. There's something else that I've got to use. Maybe I need to force it into perspective. Right. Okay, here we go. What about if I walk out and I come back in? No? Hmm. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, hey, King Saz 69 when will we see a reboot of Fried? Oh, bless you. So some of you have seen me in the, uh, the sitcom Fried. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a second season, so you'll just wait to see me in something else. Uh, good job, uh, but the pool was so heavily chlorinated. Yeah, there had to be back then. Uh, Lou saying, no, I didn't mean, I, I didn't know what the word meant. Okay, okay, all right, that's cool. That's cool, Lou. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Uh, Joe saying, uh, got to go, peeps. Have a nice weekend. Thank you very much, Joe, for stopping by. I don't know if you're streaming, Joe. If you are, people should follow him. He's a great guy, uh, uh, jdark64. Uh, check him out. Masood uh, saying goodbye to you. Uh, uh, obviously a Nintendo fan. That's how. So myself and no Joe know each other. I worked at Game. Joe worked at Electronics Boutique. And as I joined there, EB and Game merged because one bought the other out but they still retained uh, their separate identities as Game and as EB, and we were right across the road from each other. And through that, you know, he worked at EB where he got to wear a shirt uh, and tie, and I worked in Game where I got to wear a green t-shirt. Uh, and it turns out we were big Nintendo fans, and obviously Perfect Dark he really likes, and, uh, and around that time he started calling himself Joe Dark 64 or Dark 64 So that's uh, Joe there, thank you very much. Right, I'm stuck again. What do I do? Is there something else to pick up here? I'm pretty sure. Oh, there we go. I take that. Boom, done. Great, my brain's back on fire now. I know what I'm doing. There's a hole in the floor, but I'm not gonna fall through it until I do that. Right, and boink. 
I get really scared when that happens. What's over here? I know that it wants me to interact with that, but what's over this way? Oh, blue. What? Just drew a picture. That's just there as a little Easter egg, it seems. Uh, J Dark saying that is basically my whole CV. <laughs> Right, so clearly I meant to use this as a stepping st What? What just happened there? I touched it and the whole world changed. Favorite Nintendo game, Masuda saying. Um, well, I think Joe's must be Perfect Dark, CC, Perfect Dark, uh, surely. My favorite Nintendo game, dude, but Nintendo, it's, you know, Super Mario Brothers on the NES changed my life. You know, um, Street Fighter 2, but what you mean by that Nintendo made? Mario 64 is the game changer, man. Mario 64 changed the world. Like, you know, Mario 64 is just the memories of it are so great. Right, here we go. Now we looks like we're in IKEA. There we go. Let's pick that up. I meant you I bet you're meant to jump over that. Hold on. What? I just I didn't get a ch This game is nuts. Proper nuts. What about if I go down that way? Hold on. So, Masood, you know what? I'm going to go with Mario 64. I'm going to go with Mario 64. Because the first time I saw it, my brain didn't understand what I was looking at. I was like, oh my god, Like, how do you control that? It just blew my mind. What? You can't do this to me, man. It won't let me pick that up. You're gonna get All Stars 3D. Well, you know what? I don't actually want to get Mario Star, uh, All Stars 3D. Uh, I played Mario 64, and I also I played. Uh, and not only have I got 120 Power Stars, I got Mario 64 DS, which had 150 Power Stars, and I rinsed that as well. I'm I've Mario 64 out. Uh, Mario Sunshine was good, but it was you know it's not Mario 64. Uh, and um, uh, Mario Galaxy was good as well. But what I'm looking forward to is Mario 3D World. I'm looking for, because I didn't play that on the Wii U. I missed out on that one. Uh, and so I'm looking forward for it to come out on um, the Switch with the extra Bowser's Fury. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Masuda saying, okay, I'll just pick this up. And what? Yeah, that's how it feels, man. It's wild. Let's switch this alarm off. Let's do my head in. Oh my God. Like, how could you do that to someone? Perception is reality, guys. Oh, now you got to figure out. All right, let's take a right. Oh, man, this is going to be rubbish now. Now you got to figure out which way to go. All right, let's keep it going straight, see what happens. This is trippy. Are there any clues? All right, all right. Oh, hello. It's pointing in that direction. Maybe I shouldn't trust the arrows. Or... There are no more arrows. Well, I'm in here now. What do I do? Are there any clues? Hold on. 
that one says, all right, you know what? And you continue following that arrow until a new one comes up. Oh no, I messed it up. There we go. Go that way. And now go right. Oh no, I get it, hold on. Keep it going straight. It's telling me to go back. Maybe it wants me to go into that one. Then go there. And then go back. Keep on, oh no. Oh man. I'm stuck in this loop here. So it wants me to go in here. And then go down that way. Guys, this is mad. Go straight. It's just telling me to go in a circle. I, I need to break this pattern. Or no, maybe I need to follow it. All right, no. Right. change oh there we go now do I go in there and take a right or do I take a right here because it's telling me to go do you see what I mean oh there we go so I'm not following it properly Oh, do you see that? See that? Look, that's cheeky, isn't it? That is proper cheeky. You can't do that to someone. Yeah, I saw you. Or is that a bug in the game? No. Let's go back. Ah. It's not there anymore. Right. Go in the lift with the arrow, then follow the arrow. Okay, All right. So there I am, All right? And I'm following the arrow. And that means to go just, oh, hello. They're both telling me to go, go in the lift and follow it, right? Now it seems to, oh, finally worked. Was it as simple as just following the arrows? Because it didn't seem that way for a long time. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. What? How does this game do this? What? Yo, it just snap. I'm outside. What? And there's, where did I just come from? The door's gone. Surely I moved towards the moon. Have I completed the game? I've completed...
That's just a wall. All oh, right, and you need to. What? That's just a wall. And you move. Yeah, see, look, there's a wall coming up, and you move. I bet that's going to turn into a wall now. Yeah, look, see, and then it turns into a wall. That's how they get you. So, oh, they're going to close in on me. If you're claustrophobic, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Yeah, yeah, see, they come get you. What? Where'd that come from? This game is proper spooky. It's too spooky. Just way too spooky. You know what? Let's do it from here. Oh, right. And uh, it's loading now. Have I completely get oh, what's happened? It's turned into a cube. What? The people who make this game are just on something else, man. I am now... You know what? I was going to call it a day here, but I can't. I've got to keep on playing. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Patients do not have access to this dream. Yeah, but look, you can create a whole world. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic research dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. state, state. What? What is going Alright, one of these is going to be the way out, it seems. No? Is there a way out of this uh, up here, maybe? Hmm. No. Oh. It's only that one. Oh, look at that. I'm mad. Oh, my God. That's mad. What about if I walk through it? What? Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive <coughs> dream overload. Obey result. Please paradox overload. That was mad. That is the maddest thing I've ever seen in the video game. Oh my god. Go back through the door. And uh, go back through the door. And go back through the door. <coughs> and barely see the door. This game is... Guys, you have got to play this game. I kind of feel bad for those of you who are watching me because then, then you won't be able to play it now. Although, please do keep watching me. I appreciate the views. Uh, this is some spooky stuff. Alright, that's a very shiny floor. My, it, it feels like I'm, you know, not an exit, it says. What? If I go this way, go through this. Wow. This is what happens at the end of your life. You just get, you learn the secrets of, you learn the secrets of, uh, of reality. Where there is nothing but pure love and acceptance. And then you get to look after new souls who come into the world and help guide them along the way. But not hold their hand too much because they have to learn making their own mistakes what's going on here found a door can't take this down I can't take it with me wow this game is trippy hello my name is dr. Glenn Ooh. Pierce 
What do you think of this, guys? Years ago. What do you think of this? I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. We do. We begin as nothing, where right? Everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. <gasps> White space. I'm gonna walk around this because I don't trust. I don't trust this game. Okay, so what am I meant to do? Is there... Oh, there's more this way. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Is this changing the way you feel about the world and you see the world? It's definitely having that effect on me. Makes you more hopeful about humanity that we come up with all these amazing ideas. Oh. And there's dangerous, scary places as well. But it's all an illusion. Oh. What does it say? Erase me. Relaxiat Minerals Female toads, okay Ah, oh, fell through the floor And I'm back in the mundane Not an exit Um Right, I don't know. It says not an exit. That must be a clue. Maybe I can touch something here. Very TARDIS-like, Blue Lou is saying. You're very right. Rip frame rate. Oh no, did my frame rate drop? Did I... to get up here look at me um no i have no idea what to do here it's all gone black and white there must be something here i fell through fell through there. Oh, hold on. There must be something I can interact with. That's the only green thing here. This is most peculiar. There's got to be, you know, I've been, well, you've seen me be stuck in this game and not know what to do. And then we got through it. Um, That's the only thing of colour in here, is this not an exit. And I have no clue what to do. Just weirdly, it says it's not an exit. I can't interact with it in any kind of way. And there are similar boxes here. I can jump on. 
but don't seem to do anything. Imagine if one of these drawers was something you could interact with and a little hand appeared. No. Is it something on here? No. Right, this is interesting. What do I do? I'll find... Oh, hello. Look at that. It was a... It's a shadow. It's inside of a shadow. Right, so I need to follow that sign, all right? And just go forward. And they just appear. The signs appear if you have the courage to step through the darkness. And we're here in this lovely, weird place. Oh, and that happens. <laughs> and they've put like a... Can I go up this way, though? Can I follow that? Let's have a look. What happened? Oh, it won't let me go. I've, I've reached the end of the world. Oh, thanks a lot, Masood. I really appreciate that you've stopped by. Everybody, guys, check out Masood Milas. He's a streamer and a stand-up comedian. Check his channel out. Check his comedy out. Uh, lovely guy. And thanks again, Masood, for all the help and support you've given me in getting my own Twitch stream started up. Uh, and I hope to uh, uh, see you soon, buddy. Take it easy. Uh, Blue Lou is now following. Oh, thank you. Thank you for following, Blue Lou. Right, there we go. Let's go in here. And we're in this weird room. I feel like I have to complete the game now because like I've arrived, you know, we all need closure. We all need closure. You've, you've come on this journey with me and we all need it to end somehow. You know, what's that journey? This feels like the end of journey where you take that long walk through the valley. Windows, bye bye windows, hello door. And I can't do it. I need to take, I need to bring something with me. <gasps> the past, the past. Wow, just wow. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Mm. You know what, guys? Sometimes I feel this is... Um, if you live a good life and you spend, you spend your time learning and helping and l developing compassion, understanding everybody's just, you know, trying to figure this place out. And some people do it in horrible ways. Some people do it in kind ways. Oh, my God. I feel this is a big moment. Um, this is where you get to go and maybe the creators of this game have been there and they've created a game about it before I click that thing I'm going to come over here and I'm going to check this out this almost feels like it's uh, Dreams Playstation uh, 4 Dreams by Media Molecule this is wild see ya Masood thanks a lot buddy uh, I'm going to switch the thing. I've got a feeling that when I click that, the game's going to end. It's just going to end. Guys, if this is the end, this is the end. And it's been a pleasure having this journey with you. Well, no, there's more. There's more game. There's more game. There is a, a sign telling me to follow this, and there's some stairs here. How can I get up the stairs when I, it's the wall? Go this way. What? What? What's that? This is weird. 
Oh, wow. Duality. Black and white. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, there's two doors. There is that way. And there is that way. Um, that's red. That's blue. Well, let's go this way since we're closest now. Um, I don't think it makes a difference. Oh, hold on. What's going on up here? All right, okay. We're just at the end of this game and um, I'm trying to figure it out. So look, if I go through the red bit here, the uh, red and cream bit, will I come out the red and blue bit? If I go through the red and cream bit, I do come out the red and blue bit, right? If I go through the red and blue bit, I'll come out the red and cream bit. Right, let's check out these windows, see what's going on. I have no idea what's going on here. Check out these windows. And yet again, I'm stuck. What about, is there anything to interact? Hmm. Anybody wanna give me any no, don't give me any tips, because I need to figure this out for myself. Right. It seems like this is just the room. White walls. All right, so there's red, and then there's blue, and then there's red. Maybe I need to cre create a thing. That would be wild if this... Right. Look at that. Isn't that doing your head in? It's red and... See, why is there two of them the same colour? So this is a clue. There's a red and there's a red and there's a blue and a cream. And I don't know what that means. So... This is, you know what this guy, it's, I know there's a puzzle in front of me right now, but the way it makes me feel, honestly, this is like, you're looking like behind the architecture of all existence, where everything starts, you know, the very basics of it. I just filled with very simple things like this, where everything starts, and it's got nice, nice music. This is Right. Go through here. Yeah, and it works as you expect it to work. It's always a left turn, right? There was a great blog about how it was developed technically on the PlayStation site. Um, oh, please, we'll link us in. Um, drop us a link, uh, Blue Lou. If that, uh, if that um, blog is there, please drop it into the chat and uh, we'd love to see it. We'd love to learn how this game was developed. Um, I'm, although I'm really stuck here, I'm just taken away by the beauty of it all. So they've left that there. There's something about the reason why this is red. Or, you know, or the colour it is. 
and then it looks like I mean that is a wall with windows but see as you go there and you take a left turn so yeah I'm walking through the pink and the red and the cream or the pink and the cream and it brings me there Oh, thanks for the link there, Blue Lou. Uh, guys, if you're interested in knowing how this game was developed, there's the link. It's on the PlayStation website. Uh, definitely check that out. Um, I will... Well, I can't because if I move the mouse, the game moves. Um, I am stuck and I'm going to spend my sweet time figuring it out. Um, just walking around. Oh, maybe you need to go the other way around. This is probably that that's doing my head in like the fact that you can still see up there is making me feel like maybe that has something to do with it we end up in this room let's do something different look at the floor jump That's always going to be. I'm going to drop off, bro. Good stream. Thanks a lot, John. Thank you for dropping by. I know this has become painfully like weird now but i appreciate that you dropped by thank you so much uh for watching i hope to catch up with you soon take it easy john thank you so much right okay guys let's look at the clues here if you walk in there is blue and cream it's blue and red on that side that's like the french side and that's the whatever side that is That's the opposite. Right. Hmm. For those of you who are sticking by for this, I really appreciate your support, even though I'm completely... I'm just going to keep on running around until something changes. It's something simple. Maybe there's just a way out of here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> oh my God! There's no walls! There are no walls! Oh, Pillow Castle Games. I hate you and I love you. All right, there's that door, but I'm just going to go look around quickly. Oh, Pillow Castle, Pillow Castle, Pillow, pillow Castle. Pillow Castle. Oh my gosh. What a palaver. There were no walls. There aren't any walls. There is no spoon. And here we go. You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? What happened? Oh, it was loading. Look, there's a water... <laughs> Hmm. 
Wow. Oh you, f oh, you keep on falling through it. You're meant to use this. And then maybe use that. If that tilts, maybe it'll fall over. Or maybe I can just walk around the edge. No, you always fall through the thing. So I think you've got to use it to create bridges. I think I can actually jump on it though. Well, I can. And I've got to use them as bridges. Oh. And. To get right across there, that's mad. That's gonna take forever. See, because if I walk through here, oh no, the white bit's fine. No, oh my God, I don't get what's going on here. It's, it's insane, they expect me to tip so this bit here, oh no. Oh, I know, I get it. If you put, right, watch this. I think if I put, if that's there, if the white bit's on it, I won't fall over. And then if, I, if the black bit is on that, then I won't fall through there. I get it now. Game designer brain, all right. If I put the white one there, there and then I grab the black one and I put the black one here and then I stand on the black bit there we go figured it out I'm a very clever man I'm pretty sure I should win an award for something right and plonk that there and then oh no don't take that yet otherwise you'll fall through the thing uh, and take the white bit and plonk the white bit just to be on the safe side because I don't trust this game and there we go boom and through. What? Oh, 
Oh, I can't jump up there. I need it to be a sm bit smaller. Can I grab that and push it through this door? No, there's nothing here. Hold on. Or can I walk around? No, and it won't let me. There's nothing. That's just a flat wall. How do I? I don't know what's going on here, guys. Right. Zero, it just says zero. Is that a clue? It needs to be the right size in order for me to get there. Ha <laughs> ha Now I can go through there. Bargain. Every, oh, look at the giant cheese. Maybe it's the giant cheese. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's back to the cheese again. Let's get that cheese. Let's make it <laughs> Woo! No. Almost, almost there, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Oh no, it's gotten too small now. I need to get right up to it. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Here I am at the end of life. Just do that. Is that enough for me to jump? No. Oh yeah, I did it. I did it. Oh, 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 where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? There we go. Whoo! Guys, first I just want to stop for a second and thank you all for those who are still watching and being patient with me as I solve these puzzles, I really appreciate this. Because not only is this game a puzzle game, it's really messing with the way we see the world. Like, even just staring at that image right there. At first glance, it seems like a wall, but there's actually lots of things happening there. It's not what it seems to be. Yo, yeah, look at those lampshades. Look at the floor. I'm pretty going to fall through this. I know it. I'm going to fall through it. Yeah. Right, now we're in trouble. I think the black bits are the only bits that are solid uh, and I've got to use that to get through the door. There we go. No, it's not a door. Where is there a door?
And now in this one, it's the white bits are solid, maybe. And is there a door? And then in that one, it's the black ones are solid. So it depends on what you jump on. Whatever you land on will become a solid, right? So the trick is to land on another white one. Or, or not. Is there a way out? Is there a way out? No, it doesn't look like there's a way out. It's a black wall, but is that a way out? No, it's not. So let's drop down to there. That's not a way out either. Hmm. What are we to do? This is interesting. I'm stuck again, right? So what do you, um, is there a way to... Oh, there it is. You have to keep them falling through until you got here. Here we go! What madness is this? And you just keep on going down this corridor until you get to the end, only to realize that it never ends. Oh, right. Oh, there we go. And there's the door. All right. Bing. Let's turn around. And there's a cube, and you can pick it up. Oh, hello. Seven fifty nine a.m. Eight a.m. I believe I may have completed the game. What's well, loading? And dig a dig, dig a ding, dig a digging, dig a digging, dig a digging, dig a digging. Guys, you know what? I think this might be the end of the game. It's eight a.m. Click. I remember this bit. No, that's a shadow this time. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. What? You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Now I'm going backwards. You have to play the game backwards. Please don't tell me you've got to play the game backwards. That would be nuts. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. Oh, I feel, I so feel like a better person. the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. What is going on, guys? Upside down. Bouncy castle. Oh, you can't get in through there, yeah. Is it going to make me trace my way through this, or well, through key parts of the game? And remember this. Remember this, guys? We just came through here. What an amazing experience it was. Your life will always be a struggle. It will always and be a struggle, life. Have and you'll always have problems, but then but you know how you're alive, right? You have the chance to see things, see differently. things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, yeah, you we did it. outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Absolutely. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how 
far off the path you were told you were headed, or oh, how the blood. unexpected it became, yeah. you found your way. I did. I did. Thank you so much. I hope at the end of everyone's life, this is the kind of ending that they get. You did your best, right? And you overcame a lot. You didn't solve everything. You can't solve everything. There's always got to be some form of mystery. And here we are. Uh, Blue Lou, you've seen through the looking glass now. Life will never be the same for you. I've not played it. Uh, well, it, honestly, this game is great. And I recommend if you've not Play, please buy this game, support the developer, minutes, talk about it on social media. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But Here we go, right at the start of the game. Like the power of perspective I love this room. Itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. It was very real for All me. All you've got to do is wait. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, super liminal, I completed it. I, that's it, done. Woo, wow, what an experience that was. That was good game, absolutely. And and Disa, and Disia, and Disia, thank you very much for uh, being here. Let's, uh, I'll chat to you guys now. Thank you so much for those of you who 